Hello, everybody. It's author Jean Alfieri back with Princess Zoe this time. I told you she'd be here. And I promised a pretty tutu, and here she is in a pretty green spring tutu. We hope this video finds you all healthy and well and enjoying the time at home if you are at home. We are in Colorado and we are under a shelter in place order. So, you now this is what we're doing. Hello, she's waving to you. <laughs> so wherever you are um, around the world, we would love to hear what you're doing to stay busy. Ugh, besides throwing pillows off the couch. Come here, Zozo, you silly girl. We know that Zuggy the Pug fans are some of the nicest and kindest and most thoughtful people there are out there. And it was very interesting that we started a discussion on Facebook over the weekend and asked what people were doing um, to keep themselves busy and to spread love. And we got some great responses. Uh, over the weekend, we put in our upstairs window uh, three hearts so that the dog walkers and the kiddos who are traveling the neighborhood and walking around for the millionth time this week could see something fun. And it was just, um, we thought a cute idea. And so that's what we did. And we'd love to hear what you're doing to stay busy and to possibly spread the love from your home, where you, wherever you can. We promised you a, uh, a story starter ending this time. Now we didn't get any responses. I think that people are enjoying the great outdoors, but instead of finishing it this week, I'm gonna continue it this week and see if this is any more compelling for you all to uh, uh, give us a, a response as to how you would finish the story. And uh, if not, then uh, we'll just keep going with this. If you remember, this was a spooky story and this is how it went. The wind howled against the windows as Zuggy peered into the bleak snowy night. He didn't know why mom and dad had to go out for the evening, but he was glad the kids were at home. Pearl and Roy were going to watch movies and make popcorn. Zuggy loved popcorn and movies were okay too. The doorbell rang, ruff, ruff, Zuggy barked. Who would be out on a night like this? Roy answered the door. Zuggy stopped barking when he saw it was the pizza man. A frigid gust of wind whipped through the door. Roy pushed it closed and warmed his hands on the pizza box. The smell of cheese and pepperoni filled the house. Zuggy's mouth watered. If it was one thing he loved more than popcorn, it was pizza. They settled into their spots on the couch. Suddenly, the lights flickered. Once, twice, then the room went completely dark. There was an eerie silence. Did we just lose power? Pearl asked Roy. I think so, said Roy. I'll go find a flashlight. Just then, there was another knock at the door. Bark, bark. Did you order another pizza? Whispered Pearl. No, no, I didn't, stuttered Roy. This was scary. Zuggy ran to the door. Bark, bark, bark. The kids slowly followed. Knock, knock, knock. They both jumped. Roy reached for the doorknob. What happens next? I know I got Zoe interested, didn't I? Okay, so there's your story continuation. And additionally, we would love to hear from you guys. Um, you can send in your story endings or what you're doing to keep busy during this time to zuggythepug at gmail.com. It's just like it sounds, Z-U-G-G-Y, the pug, P-U-G, at gmail.com. Also, please like us and share this. We'd love to get this around and, and get people involved and, and talk about you know, just get our mind off of things and enjoy a story or talk about what we're doing and how everybody is resetting at this point and uh, reevaluating what they're doing and spending time with, time with loved ones. We hope you're all healthy and well. And until next time, we will see you soon. You ready to go, Zoe? How about another walk? Yeah, you good with that? Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>